Why, hello there, everyone! My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 31st episode, guys, and a massive thank you for A, all of the support you guys have been showing the series, and B, for all of your patience with the series. I know I have not been very good in terms of the frequency of the series, but I really am trying to work that out. I've been trying to deal with some, well, in real life stuff, and I don't really want to talk about it because I don't really want to, like, spread negativity or anything like that. Basically, my sleep has been majorly messed up, and uh, it has affected productivity, if I'm out, guys. So, today, we are going to be going ahead and doing some awesome stuff, okay? So, as you can see, down in our Plantera arena, there is indeed a Plantera ball, finally, which is fan free fantastic. So, we are going to be, once again, trying to take down Plantera in today's episode, after... We expand the arena, especially width-wise. We're going to be expanding the width and giving it a little bit more height. And then we're going to take down Plantera, hopefully. And after that, guys, after that, we should be able to start grinding to get the Pumpkin Moon. And when we get the Pumpkin Moon, we can then start getting ourselves some spooky wood so we can actually make a good old start on our Halloween biome build. That is right, my friends. It's going to be a fantastic time. Oh, yes, it is. So there's been plenty of things that I've done since the last episode. One of the things being, uh, I've planted down a bunch of pumpkins in that biome. So, you know, it looks a bit more like a Halloween biome. Uh, a lot of suggestions came in. One of you guys' uh, suggestions was to put gravestones down there which is a great idea but it means i'd have to kill myself many many times over which is kind of silly uh so yeah but anyways guys i have not been idle i will say that check it out i've smoothed out the world look at this i have actually got ahead and smoothed out the entire world well not the entire world certainly up until the point of this area here so our custom hallow bit you know the entire world from here all the way to here is now entirely smoothed out to the point where we can just use our horse and go anywhere we want. We've only got this area here to smooth out and then we have ourselves a completely unicorn friendly world and everything would be fan freaking fantastic, guys. It really, really would. So, what do I need to do? I need to go ahead and grab myself uh, some buff potions. We're going to buff it up this time. I feel like we're a little bit too ahead of ourselves previously. Uh, calming potions, don't actually know if they're going to be useful. Iron skin, definitely in Inferno, definitely. What else have we got here? We've got ourselves Night Owl. I'll take some of them because why not? Danger Sense, Regen, Archery, Swiftness. Yeah, I'll take some of those. You know, shine for a little bit of light and then some Heart Reach. Yeah, that sounds like a... That looks like a pretty good set of buffs if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. Right, I just want to quickly check something. Am I still in 99 quests for fishing? No, I'm at 100. I have actually done 100 now. Okay, cool. So we're exactly halfway up to having this thing done, my friends. And it's going to be fan freaking fantastic. So, guys, let's go ahead and have a little bit of a mini tour of our world. I mean, just check it out, guys. We could just run through the entire world now. It is fan freaking fantastic. It really, really is. I mean, just check it out. We don't have to do anything. We could just run through enemies as well. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh... I love having a smooth world, guys. I really, really do. It means it's ready to be built upon. We can make some more custom biomes if we want to. And, guys, that's exactly what I want to do. You might notice I've smoothed out the snow biome now. We've got a bunch of trees growing here, which is fantastic. And here, of course, is our Halloween biome with the pumpkins in. We definitely do need to go and plant down some uh, gravestones, though, to make it a little bit more spooky. And, of course, grab some spooky wood so we can make this into a black spooky wood tree of awesomeness. Oh, yes. It'll be a good time, my friends. It certainly is. Okay, so we can head down here. And, yeah, we're just about there. We're, uh, we're now at a little custom hallow bit. And all we need to do now is just to, you know, get some stuffs going. Guys, I'm going to go ahead off camera. And I'm going to expand the arena. We're going to give this thing a go again. And, yeah, it's going to be a good time, my friends. It's going to be a good time. I've got a good feeling about this, my friends. I've got a good feeling. Well, hello there, first life fruit of the series. I was not expected to find you down here. Hey, man. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. If I continue breaking all of these plants, what should inadvertently happen is I should wind up having a bunch more stuffs. Hey, look, there's a whole bunch of grubbies. Can we pick them up? Would that be a cool idea? Let's pick them up. I'm pretty sure they have a decent amount of 15%. Eh, I mean, it's not that great, to be honest with you, but hey-ho. It's all good. Our first ever gold health thing. Yeah, it's a good time. Okay, my friends. So, like I say, we're going to expand this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to say, like, 
well, I don't really know how many blocks, to be honest with you guys. But I'm just going to keep going until I feel like we have a big enough arena, right? So let's just keep going and let's see what we can do here, my friends. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we are just about there with the arena. It would be nice if I started off this health with maximum health. That would be very, very nice. But as you can see, this place has been very much extended. I've lit up as much as I can here, my friends. Oh, yeah, we've got a yell it. Huh. Okay. Well, I didn't even expect to see that on the floor. But apparently we do. So that's always nice to see. Right. So there's a Plantera bulb. Let's buff up. And ladies and gentlemen, Plantera has awoken. Are we still using the magic damage? Yes, we are. I'm still going to go for the Shadow Flame Hexstar because it just seems like a good weapon to go for. I think it would also be a good idea if we had a little bit of additional damage in the form of the Imp Staff. But guys, we're going to we're gonna give this thing a go. I just came to the realization that I don't have the uh, magic potions. Yeah, that might be an issue, huh? I don't know. Anyways, just keep ourselves going. Wait. I'm genuinely interested which is better, the Shadow Flame Hex doll or the Crystal Serpent. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. If I took a little bit of damage. Wait, where's my magic cups? Oh, crap. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Ooh, there we go. There we go. We're okay, guys. We're okay. Weirdly, as long as we get hurt, we're actually going to be completely fine. So, yeah. And I just realized we also have 485 max health now. Thanks to the beautiful wonders of the life force potion. Uh, yes. Wait. There we go. Wait, does the crystal ball provide health regen? Can we, like, not die, please? Like, seriously? Any second now? We should be in second form. Yep, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. We ain't looking so good, though, if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we really aren't looking so good. I mean, if we get rid of all of these freaking dudes... And we might be just a little bit better off, I hope. I mean, we're starting to get rid of them, slowly but surely. And our health regen is, seems to be doing the job. All right. The Inferno Potion definitely seems to be doing its job as well. And as you can see, most of the little grabber dudes are now gone. In fact, present tense, they are gone. Which means that we can go back to the Shadow Flame... Uh, sorry, the Crystal Serpent and get back on with this thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, mate. We still need a DPS meter. That is literally the final component we need for the PDA slash cell phone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, yeah. Not bad, guys. Not bad. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We have ourselves the seedling. Wait, is that a pet? That's a pet, isn't it? A pet sapling. Yay! Wait, where's my pet sapling? Wait, why is it not activated? Hang on a minute. Boom. There we go. And we'll have that as well. And yeah, there we go, guys. Plantera is completed, which officially means we can take down the pumpkin moon or attempt to anyway, if we really, really wanted to, which is fantastic. Oh, yes, it is fan freaking tastic, guys. It really, really is. Okay, so I'm going to shut down the final torch right there. And yeah, guys, there we go. The temple key. Everything's looking fantastic. Yeah, you love to see it, guys. You love to see it. The grenade launcher might actually be a pretty worthy adversary against the thing, right? I really do, actually. It could be nice to get out our ranger set and, like, go, like, full explosives. I think that could be a fun time. I really, really do. But in the meantime, guys, we've got a lot of stuff that we need to tidy away. So, why don't we do that? We'll do a quick fishing quest as well, because why not? And, guys, we're going to get on with uh, maybe the pumpkin moon. I mean, we don't have a lot of... Oh, although, saying that, I need ectoplasm, don't I? E. Yeah, we've still got a fair amount of, of stuff to do before we can actually get to that point. So, yeah, that's just just how it is, my friends. It's just the nature of how it is. <laughs> All right, so strange plants, we could probably convert those into the, you know, the different various dyes. So that could be a cool thing to go for. So, yeah. All right, guys, like I say, so on our inventory, and then we'll get going. All right, guys, so inventory has been cleaned away. We have the dye trader just up here. Let's see what strange plants provide us. Uh, and that's it. Okay, cool. So, uh, reflective metal dye. Ooh, that's always a good one. Reflective silver dye, shadow dye, red acid, chlorophyte dye. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Whoa. What the hell? It is, like, completely black. Wow. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> that is low-key kind of cool. Okay, right. Let's check out the uh, reflective metal dye. Ooh, look at us now, baby. You can't actually see what's going on. However. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was kind of nice. Okay, and Shadow Die, if we put that on the wings, I feel like we could have this look really, really good. Boop. Ooh. Look at us now, baby. That looks good. 
That is looking mighty fine. Oh, yes, it is. All right, Wall of Flesh, time to get explodified. Get destroyed, son! You ain't taking me out of the game, son. You really... Be oh, God! Okay. That... Uh, I don't have a lot of health. Hang on. Uh. We're okay. Guys, we're okay. Everything's fine. We're, we're totally not going to die to a Wall of Flesh in freaking hard mode. Oh, gosh. If we're not careful, we could actually die. Although, with that said, we could always just absolutely destroy it anyway. Boom! There we go. What is that? Uh, oh, it's a warrior emblem. Hey! That's pretty good. Oh! Oh, paladin! You pain in the butt! Well, um, yeah. We're doing a lot of damage to ourselves with this freaking grenade launcher. Hmm. I wonder if I could... I wonder if rocket wands mean that you don't take damage. Nope, they still do damage. Um, yeah, okay. Right. Interesting. I wonder if the rocket launcher then will mean that you don't take damage from yourselves. I don't know. It's pretty interesting though, if you ask me. It's pretty darn interesting. Okay, cool. Right, anyways, we need ourselves some uh, higher end potions so we can actually have a decent stab at doing this without killing ourselves over and over. Um, so yeah, all right, let's put you on. We're going to put you away. Uh, we've got a lot of greater healing potions. That's actually pretty good. All right, nice one. All right, let's heal up. Let's get back down there. And we got to pull some butt. Ah, Paladin again killed me. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. You freaking butt. Oh yeah, yeah. Go to hell. Literally go to hell. <laughs> ah, and that's why you have a hell of it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, well, anyways, there we go. We got ourselves five ectoplasm. Believe it or not, that is all we need. Uh, let's put these banners. Wow, look at the amount of banners we got now. Ow. Oh, yeah, getting a pretty significant amount, huh? Nice. Okay. Hey, the guides arrived back in. I already taken down another. I already took down another wall of flesh. Sadly, we didn't get the ranger emblem. Sadly, so yeah, that's all good. Anyways, we're all looking good, my friends. Uh, a couple shine potions. A couple of these. Uh, night out. Yeah, why not? Hunter. Yeah, probably. Uh, what else have we got? Iron skin? Yep. Yeah. Basically all of this stuff. Yeah, looking good. And uh, maybe a calming potion? Not entirely sure if that will actually work, but... Oh, come! Python! You dumbo! Jeez! Alrighty, guys. So, in the meantime, we have ourselves some various other bits and bobs we could probably do. We actually got a second warrior emblem out of that second wall of flesh fiber, which I didn't show you. But in the meantime, check it out, guys. We've got all of this stuff here. I'm not entirely sure just how much we can actually combine. I know this is going to make the star veil, which is, like, a pretty damn good accessory. There's the plan. There's the medicated bandage. There's the star veil. All right, pretty good. So, if we grab ourselves five of each type of mech soul, we should be able to make ourselves an Avenger emblem and then start going down that tree. And if we really wanted to, we could switch to a melee set again and go from there. But, guys, oh, corruption key. <gasps> oh, my God, we need to go grab the thing. We need to grab it. What? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And where's the last one? Soul of Sight. One, two, three, four, five. And we should be able to make ourselves uh, some various bits and bobs. Hang on a minute. Do we have ourselves the other accessories needed? Accessories two. Uh, no, not by the looks of it. Titan glove. And uh, where's the other thing? I believe it's the feral claws. Yes. Okay. Right. So we should be able to make ourselves a fairly decent melee accessory. Except we don't have the magma stone. So we can't make ourselves the fire gauntlets. But we can... Ah! But we can certainly uh, <laughs> do some other cool stuff. All right. There we go. Hey. Mechanical glove. Increases melee knockback and 12% increased damage and melee speed. Yeah, baby. Cool. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we've got some pretty decent accessories here. I feel like the Star Veil might be the star of the show. I don't really know if we're going to need the horseshoe balloon anymore. But one thing I do know is uh, swapping out the or reforging the Star Veil more to the point is very, very expensive, which is why we're not going to do that. Uh, these are okay. And yeah, like I say, guys, ooh, I really want to switch to a melee set now. Because the, the freaking Scourge of the Corruptor is an incredible weapon. It really, really is. Hello, chest. Wait, did we get on the alternate world? Crimson chest. Yeah, we got on the alternate world. What the hell? Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, so we've got the corruption key. Oh, no. But we can't do anything with it. Because it's not on this world, is it? Yeah, hello, chest. Oh, mate. Ah, uh, well... We could go on the alternate world and see if we can get it, but we haven't taken down Plantera on the alternate world. So sadly, uh, that plan has just like immediately gone out the window, which is a bit sad, but oh well. All is well. 
Uh, okay, cool. All right, guys, we're going to be attempting the pumpkin moon. And I guess it's only fitting that we try and survive against it in the custom biome, right? So, yeah. And like I said, I've got a lot of plans for that biome, not only for building, but to buff it up, get some serious buffs going on. We've already got the movement speed uh, from the sunflowers, the little custom sort of orange sunflowers, I guess. That's pretty cool. But, guys, we're going to wait for nighttime. We're going to get on with this thing. And actually, guys, to be honest, I guess while we're waiting, we could jump into the comment question of the video because, you know, we haven't done that yet. So Casper Johnson asks, Python, are you planning on doing a Christmas playthrough? It's just so cozy watching some Christmas Terraria in December. Um, my honest answer is I don't know. Once again, the last time I actually did a Christmas playthrough, I think was 2017. I didn't, wait, no, 2016 even. I didn't do one for 2017 because I didn't know what to do. And I don't really know what to do for this year. If you guys have any suggestions for what we could do for a Christmas playthrough, I had an idea of maybe doing like a series within this particular series whereby we do just a snow project within here and we do sort of a hard mode start. So we're already on this world, right? The world we're in right now. But we basically start again and we try to grab as many snow related weapons as we possibly could. And uh, obviously the final goal would be to either take down the moon lord or just take down the frost moon. I don't know. Or the alternate thing we could potentially do is do a calamity Christmas playthrough. Guys, there's going to be a poll on screen. Let me know what you guys think. Calamity Christmas playthrough or a playthrough within this playthrough? Let me know. I'd be very interested in knowing what you guys have to say about that because, yeah, it could be interesting to do a Calamity Christmas playthrough. It really could. Right. Wait. Hang on a minute. They're not spawning. Oh, no. Does the meteorite buy... Oh, no. The meteorite buy must, like, overtake it all. It does. Oh, no. That's terrible, dude. All right. Well, in which case, I think the most logical place to take these guys down would, in fact, be in the custom corruption biome, right? That would make sense. Oh, God. We are wasting time here, my friends. We've already lost a minute's worth of progress. Oh, no. I can't believe that. I did not know that the meteorite biome would overtake it. I genuinely didn't know that. Crap. That's really rad. We've lost some time here, my friends. But the good news is, as we keep going... Yep, there we go. If we stay on the floor, we should be able to get ourselves a lot more progress. Yeah, look at that. Progress galore, my friends. Progress galore. Ow! You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. There we go. How about some people on the right-hand side? Yeah, there we go. Wave two. The splinterlings are going to be the things that give us the correct items. You know, we are looking, of course, for... Ah, here we go. These guys. Yeah! Give me some spooky wood there, buddy. Yeah, we can start. We can finally do this thing, my friends. Fantastic. I mean, to be honest with you, a lot of you guys were also saying we could have just painted the wood black or something like that. But I feel like having actual spooky wood would be a lot better. I really do. Because, you know, it's a Halloween buy and spooky wood, it just makes sense, man. It does. It just makes sense. So that's why we're doing that. All right. Well, yeah, we're doing this thing. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, then. Obviously, the people who we're going to get the most amount of speaking wood from, of course, is going to be the morning woods, right? So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Oh, no. I just minimized my terraria. Why did I do that? Oh, no. No. The game's frozen. No. No. Oh, I hate that. Terraria. Why? Why do you do that? As soon as I accidentally click outside the window, it's like the game completely freezes on you. It's so weird. Oh, so annoying. Anyways, guys, let's keep ourselves going. We're getting ourselves a decent amount of wood from this, which is always nice to see. And yeah, like I say, the morning woods is what we're going to be wanting to take down. I'm surprised these hellhounds haven't dropped down. Ow! Oh, God. That hurts, buddy. That actually legitimately hurts. Ow. Hey, buddy. Mr. Hellhound. Oh, God. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Keep it going. We're looking for as much spooky wood as we possibly can. How many have we got? 13. Wow. We need a pretty significant more amount than that. Oh, gosh. That could actually hurt. Yep. You see, the thing is, if I don't take down these hellhounds, I feel like we're not going to progress. Ow. Why did that hurt? Oh, wait, because the grenades dropped down. Of course. That makes sense. Ah, these hellhounds are going to be annoying. Ow. Gosh. Darn it, man. I'm going to kill myself, aren't I? I'm actually legitimately going to wind up killing myself here. Okay. Right, that's all of those locked down. Hello. Come on, keep it up. 
Right, the four. Oh, ow! The morning woods are going to start spawning in now. We should start seeing them on the mini map there momentarily. Hopefully. Ow! Stop hurting yourself, Python, you dumbass! Come on, dude. Ah, oh, jeez. I am not very smart, huh? Come on. We've got to take down these hellhounds, man. They're going to be a pain. Because because they're like just... A Ow! Oh! Uh, 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 they're spawning! Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, right. We're good. Everything's okay. We're totally going to survive this. Come on. We're going to be fine. Uh, uh. I mean, it'd be nice if I got myself some weapons from this. I mean, I'm... Ah! Uh, I'm not really expecting to get any weapons, to be honest with you guys. I really am not. Like, I'm just expecting to get wood. I just want the spooky wood, man. I don't even care about the weapons. The bo the weapons are a bonus, honestly. Come on. I've got to be honest with you guys. It's not very often I go for an explosive run with the uh, pumpkin moon. But hey-ho, it's all good. You know what I would love right about now is the celebration. I feel like the celebration would be absolutely fantastic right about now. Oh my goodness me. Alright, the morning wood is getting a little bit feisty now. Ah, uh, hello. How are you doing? Oh, he's dead. Yay! Got him! Right, I don't think... I don't think we got... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oof! I don't think we got anything from it, though, sadly. Which is kind of sad. But oh well. Oh god, there's another one! Hello! Hi there, buddy! How you doing? I don't think we're going to get very far in this. But you know what? That's okay. Because, like I say, we're just looking for the spooky wood. Literally, just the spooky wood. Come on. Dude, this is actually low-key kind of working out kind of nice. <laughs> like, better than I thought. Uh, oh, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey there. Hey there. Hi there. Ho there. Doggies! Whoever trained you needs to be sent to an island or some sort of school because they didn't do a very good job in training you, you bunch of butts. You're not very nice, are you? Come on, Brosif. 1,500 health. Come on. Uh... Well, I mean, we're surviving. We haven't died yet. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. But hey-ho, did we get anything? Nope. Ah, oh, dang blast it. Here we go. Ow. Careful. There we go. Come on. Keep it up there, buddy. Oh, there's another one. Another morning wood there, my friends. Hey, the more guys we kill, the more wood we're going to get. It's as simple as that. It really is. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, guys. I think I have... Yeah, I messed up. I didn't realize that the meteorite biome would completely overtake the freaking events. I genuinely didn't know that. So I'm going to have to get rid of the meteorite biome and try something else. I mean, of course, there's still a lot of things to do to that biome. One of which would be to put down a solar monolith. So we've got the background. The other one would be to go ahead and uh, put down a music box. Oh, that's what we should have done today. I should have bought a music box from the wizard. I actually legitimately should have done that. God damn it. Well, that's... You know what they say, my friends? I make these mistakes so you don't have to, right? That's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's how it is. Okay, cool. Wait, did one of the morning ones despawn or did I kill it? Hey, a necromantic scroll on the floor. Well, if we wanted to switch to a summoner loadout, now's the time. That's pretty good. I'm kind of all right with that. <laughs> wow. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. I've got a pumpkin. No. Too early, man. Too early. I don't need pumpkins. I just want to stay at the lower waves. I want the lower waves more than anything, dude. Ow. Hey. Lots and lots of health. Hey, let's buff up again. Oh, no. There he is. Oh, no, pumpkin. Come on. I want to take down this guy at the very least. Ah! Don't kill me. Must take down. Yeah. Got him. I don't even care about dying now. If I manage to take this guy down with a grenade launcher, I'm going to be very surprised. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not expecting to actually be able to do this. But I don't know. I could be surprised. Because you have to really get your aim on. You really do. Like, look at that. My aim is not very well, my friends. Although, I don't know. Hey, I'm hitting him quite a lot, actually. Uh, hello. 16k, 15k. If I, if I manage to take this guy down, then you guys have got to drop a like on, okay? Because I'm genuinely not expected to be able to do this. 11k. Oh, sorry. 12k. I was reading that wrong. Hello. Come on. Somehow I'm surviving. Ow! Uh, I'm hurting myself, you dumbo. Come on. Anything? We've got 30 seconds to do this thing, my friends. 9k is the amount we need to take down. 8k. You see, if I sort of fly perpendicularly to him... Then I can actually... Oh, then I actually have a chance of doing this. Ah! 5,000. 
A little bit of health. Come on. We've got 15 seconds to do this. Oh, we're running out of time. Come on. 10 seconds. Yeah, we'll have this. We've got this. Yeah! Did it! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> what are you going to do, sucker? And there we go. That's the end of the event, my friends. We did get ourselves a spider egg from that, which is pretty cool. I don't know if anything else dropped. We've got ourselves the necromantic scroll uh, somewhere around. I'm going to go pick that up. But aside from that, I don't think I really got too much else. 61 spooky wood. You can't be serious. There's got to be a whole bunch on the floor or something like that, man. You can't be serious. That can't be all we got. That really can't be all we got. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I've got more than I first thought I would. Hey. 342. Is that going to be enough to replace the entire tree? I've no idea, guys. But hey-ho, check it out. Necromantic scroll and a spider egg. For the first run with just explosives, I think that's pretty good. So guys, on that successful note, we're going to end the episode right there. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But yeah, got plenty of stuff to do off camera. First of which, remove the meteorite from here. And guys, we've got plenty of stuff still to come in, my, in this series, my friends. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.